Hello everyone, welcome to Fault Tolerant Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a bootable USB pen drive for Windows 7. So basically there are two things which you require here. So I'll write down the requirements here. One is a pen drive with a minimum capacity of 8 GB or 16 GB anything so I have here is a 16 GB pen drive I'm using a 16 GB pen drive second one is a copy of your Windows 7 you know most of these latest computers coming nowadays are coming without a DVD drive so it has been a real pain in the ass when it comes to reinstallation of Windows so if you have this one this pen drive which is having a ready uh, Windows 7 in it you can keep this one you don't have a DVD drive even if you don't have a DVD drive you can use this in any laptops and computers for reinstallation of Windows so here if you see here this is my copy of Windows 7 and uh, first thing you have to make sure when you copy you can have a copy of your own DVD drive or you can just copy the files into a folder like this and and keep it like that on the desktop like a, as a backup just make sure you have the all the files in this and all, all the files and folders in here just make sure the bytes also same and everything is same so this is typically a complete copy of the entire DVD of Windows 7 all right now if you have these two things ready we are going to continue into the step-by-step -step procedure for making a bootable Windows 7 USB pen drive step by step procedure for Windows 7 bootable USB drive first step is open the command prompt go to start menu type in CMD press enter command prompt is open Sorry, sorry sorry okay second step is to open the tool they call the disk part this part is basically a partition creation edition deletion tool it is coming by default with all windows uh, versions so you just need to type in windows disk part and yes of course you require admin privilege to open this tool I will uh, minimize the other window I'll keep this one open okay just keep it side by side now we'll continue so once we are inside the disk part what we are going to do is to list all the available disk in the system list disk I'll copy the command and put it here so that you can follow one by one next third step all right third step list disk and now next step is to select uh, the disk which you are going for creating a new primary partition okay so here we have to be very careful we should not select the wrong disk at all if you select the wrong disk you're gonna probably end up losing all the data in the system so if you see here there are four hard for disk showing zero disk zero is disk one disk two and disk zero is coming around 931 GB this one is coming around 698 GB this disk two is coming around 1863 GB so probably these are my hard disks so I should not be selecting that those one and uh, here if you see disk 3 is only 14 GB so probably that is my USB pen drive and in the next step I'm going to make sure that is my pen drive and I'm going to make sure about make sure that is the right device okay so what we're going to do is select disk 3 make sure you are typing the right number okay select disk 3 disk 3 means this one okay press enter So I'm going to copy this one, putting it here, this is for me, for you you have to make sure, okay. Now how to make sure the selected disk is the right one, you just type in detail, D-E-T-A-I-L, detail, disk. This will give you the details on the selected disk. We selected disk number 3 in the above step and in this step we are going to get all the details of the selected disk so it's sure 
Lexar USB flash drive. Okay, capacity is 14 GB. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, size GB, no, nothing. Okay, it's probably clean. Anyway, no problem. Next step is to we need to clean up, clean. So I'm gonna copy this one here. Number five and step number six will be clean. Okay, clean. And step number seven, we are going to create a partition. So create partition primary primary. Okay, copy this one, put it here, step number 7. Now, we're gonna select uh, to primary, okay, this uh, list partition, list, list partition. If you type in list partition, list part or list partition, you're gonna get all the partitions created under that disk okay partition. normally this is the full command list partition but I only pa type the list part both will work as same so partition 1 okay I'm going to select partition 1 select partition 1 this is one next step step number 9 select partition 1 and then I'm going to make it active. Select partition to active. And active. So copy this one. Place it here. Then what? Ten. Okay. And now what we are going to do is format this selected active partition into any file system for example if you are going to use windows uh, xp windows 7 etc we can directly go for ntfs but if you are going any version lower than windows xp you should you should go you should choose for uh, fat32 fa 32 so basically windows 7 prefer ntfs file system so i'm going to use that one for that fs is equal to ntfs gonna have to wait for uh, some time I'm gonna skip this part and will continue after finishing this one I'm gonna pause the video for some time wait I have to copy this one format FS and TFS I'll just copy this one to the step right I'll see number 11 okay. all right now we have uh, completed the formatting hundred percentage there are only two more steps we need to do that is we have to assign a drive letter assign a drive letter to this uh, drive that is now showing H for me it will be done automatically so I'm gonna close this one for a while and then we can exit for exit I will copy this one step number 12 sign and step number 13 exit that's a uh, last step finish so once you exit uh, windows will be closed If we go and you can check your H drive, uh, your my computer you will see an air drive letter, a drive with letter H. You can open this one. Next step, this is a, a main part of uh, this part is completed. Now there is the third part where you have to copy all the all the contents from the Windows contents from 
इंटो सेवन डी और इमेज और बैकअप टू पेन ड्राइव सो फॉर मी दिस इज द फोल्डर वेर आई हैव द कॉपी ऑफ विंडोज हम गोर अ कॉपी एवरीथिंग यूज कंट्रोल ए कॉपी एवरीथिंग एंड कंट्रोल बी एम गोर ओपन एंड पुट एवरीथिंग इन द एच ड्राइव कंट्रोल वी कंट्रोल वी वेट फॉर अपन कॉपी पेस्ट Okay. I'm pasting all the data from uh, the backup. I mean the Windows original DVD into this pen drive. Make sure you sh you have all the files included in this one. 873 files, 204 folders. It's uh, it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause the video for, and I'll resume after that. Okay, now we have almost copied all the files uh, into the folder. I mean into the pen drive, USB stick. Now after this, what we have to do after copying this one, what we have to do is. Just plug in the USB. Plug in the USB stick to the laptop or USB stick to laptop or PC, which you need to reinstall and start. If it did not pick the boot sector from USB, Probably you will have to change the boot disk priority in the BIOS settings of your laptop. Normally, you can enter into the BIOS setting by pressing the L key or some function keys like F10, F11, F12, something like that. You can see it in the post BIOS descriptions when uh, in a system startups. So I'm gonna mark that point here. Check the boot disk. Priority, prio in the prio settings, and make sure it's on top, on top. I mean, like the first one, or it's on the top, or like first priority. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case if you find any questions, please feel free to comment on the YouTube and also like and subscribe my video. Thank you very much.